Now let's head over to Mark in the Beko kitchen. And this morning, Mark, we have got a curry. Yeah, that's right. We've got a smoked paprika curry. Yes, we've got all these beautiful flavours here. And I'll tell you what, you know where the inspiration came from this no, dish? No, where did it come from? So this is from one of my chefs who's working with me, and he made this for staff meal for us. And oh, it was nice. so good. I got him to get right the recipe down, and we're going to cook it for the nation now. Look at you and your hot house. I appreciate that. That's fantastic. OK, it's, we'll, we'll get the full recipe a little later on. Great to have you with us in the Beko kitchen. And today, Mark, we are making smoked paprika chicken curry, which mm. sounds like an interesting combination, really. And I've got to say, I've never actually you know, heard of a curry based on paprika before. So you've stolen this from one of your... Oh, I have, yeah. Your, and it's, what's his name? Uh, Makesh. Makesh, well, that's, cool. oh, that's, that's a good fun. name, isn't it? Yeah, no, and it's good. It, it was like normally, you know, we get lots of staff meals and... Uh I don't say this in case they're listening, but normally they're not very good. But this one was really good. So this is testament that I've actually got the recipe and put it on TV. So it's, it's, it was good. So it's all about flavour. Lots of flavour in there. Right. We've got garis, garam masala in there, turmeric, uh, the smoked paprika obviously being the star of the show. So first of all, I've just got a pan on there so yes. it's nice and warm. It is. It's heating up fast. Yeah, it's steaming away. I'm going to let it cool down a little bit. We want right. a nice medium heat because we're going to toast the spices. So there's the secret. Right, OK. At the same time, we've got some chicken thigh. Yep. So chicken thigh keeps a lot moister, uh, moist, keeps its moisture in when we cook the curry. So use the chicken thigh. You can use breast if you want. Just be really careful. Right, you um, don't want to dry it out. Don't want to dry it out. Yeah. Right. So um, all we do, bit of smoked paprika on there. Yeah, good. You know, good amount in there. Give it a good stir around. You can do that. Okay, and then a little good. bit of. Uh, oil in there as well and then that's just going to help make a, li a little paste and coat all the chicken nice. and then you just want to let it rest um, you know good idea to take Ooh. it out of the fridge let it rest like a, a you know half an hour an hour if you can just out somewhere not too warm not in the kitchen but you know right, room temperature okay. will get those flavors in so about an hour and it'll be packed full of flavor and we're going to leave them in nice chunks okay so we're okay. not chocking it uh, cutting it up now we're going to marinate it and then we're going to i'm going to show you a way to cook it to get loads and loads of flavor in it and then we can leave it whole or you can chop it down a bit later in the show it smells so good and it's really good you know okay. it's it's, uh, it's one of those ingredients what we like to call in the industry a flavor maker a flavor maker nice Smells great. <laughs> paprika. Everyone's got a bit of paprika in the cupboard, haven't they? That's it. Right, so a little bit of oil in there. Yep. Nice medium pan. I've got some cumin seeds, and we're mm -hmm. just going to toast all these off. Um, How do you know if the pan's too hot? Because uh, they'll smoke? turn black. Yeah, there'll yeah. be lots of smoke, and they'll turn, <laughs> turn black really fast. Okay, uh, star cool. anise, coriander star anise. seeds. Got a few bay leaves, yep. and a little bit of cinnamon as well. Okay. So you just want to keep stirring that around. Okay. Get Thank them you. toasted. You know, a couple of minutes over a medium heat. If you start seeing them, they're getting... Um, you know, a little bit coloured, take it off the heat and just uh, give it that time in the pan to release the flavour. Okay, great. Right, and then I've got some more aromats here. So I've got some garlic. So I've just peeled that. I'm just going to slice it. That's going to go in. I've got some ginger and some red onions as well. And then that's going to be our next round of, um, you know, flavours and aromats to go in the curry. So we're building all those um, levels of flavour up as we go. This is smelling delicious already. And that's it, you know, the heat and the oil and the toasting of the spices just really releases all their flavour, you know? Yeah, that's good. Smelling good. OK, I haven't burnt anything over here yet, Chef, so... No, that's good. That's good. Panic. Right, so that's good. That was, that was, <laughs> <laughs> no, that looks really good, because you've got the... Um, you've got a nice colour there. As you said before, you know, you've got all the aromas coming out. So this is a good time now to put all these spices on. Same again, keep it over medium heat, keep tossing it, turning it, and we just want to sort of get the heat in there, sweat them down. We're not looking for much colour now, but we're looking to get all the um, flavours in here. Now put the rest of these onions in. And then you want you want to sort of keep an eye on this process, really sort of, you know, mother it a little bit, because you'll, you'll extract, as, you know, all the flavour out of it. And probably, you know, Take a good sort of eight to ten minutes doing this sort of stage, you know? It'll be well worth it. Uh, now, speaking of chopping onions, I heard that next week we might be doing some lettuce. Chopping lettuce? Yes. Oh, really? Oh, I didn't get that email. Right. <laughs> no, but isn't it sandwich week? Isn't oh, yeah, sandwich no, it's week sandwich week. Yeah, yes. yeah, but we don't necessarily have to put lettuce on a sandwich. All right, so I suggested this. We're going to do sandwich week next week. I'm excited about it. Not many people behind the no, I'm scenes really, are excited about I'm it. I'm really excited about it. But, you know, they're not going to be normal sandwiches. They're going to be, like, oh, chefified sandwiches. Chefified sandwiches. <laughs> and also knife skills as well. And we knife, skills, knife yeah. skills, yeah. yeah.
because everyone, everyone around here is always jealous of how Mark can slice so well. So we're going to uh, we're going to back test to that. basics. Back to basics. Yes. Well, this is smelling incredible, and we will come back and test this out very soon. We'll get you the second part straight after we come back after home. We need to finish up Mark's beautiful smoked paprika chicken curry, which I've got to say is smelling sensational right now. This mix of onion and spices is beautiful. That's it, and we've, uh, we've spent a lot of time in here, released all the flavours. Right, some more flavours now. We've got some turmeric yep. and some garam masala. So that's a mixture of loads of spices, so this is sort of um, classic sort of curry ingredients. So I pop them in here. I'm going to put a little bit of water in there, mix it around, and then we're going to add that to the pan. OK, great. Ooh, yum. OK, so it's all about... So you've got to make sure it's not it too lumpy. Ideally, yes. Ideally. <laughs> <laughs> right, so we're going to pop that in there. I mean, as it cooks, we'll, we'll knock all those lumps out. You will. So keep stirring it around. And then what I've got here, lots of fresh tomatoes. So we're going to pop them in now. So this is going to give us some liquid into the curry and it's also going to give us that nice sort of acidity and help cut through all this richness. And right, it's right, so like in. a curry, isn't it? That's it. Beautiful. Right, and then what we want to do now is you want to sort of cook it out for sort of, you know, 10, 15 minutes over a medium heat and those tomatoes will just soften, release all the liquid and then just break into it. Great. Right, if it gets a little bit dry, you can add just a splash of water. We've got so much flavour in there now, we're just using a little bit of water to create some liquid. Um, you know, you don't need to add stocks or anything, that's fine. So we're just going to cook that out, and then we're going to pop some cream in in about a couple of minutes. Okay. Obviously at home you've got a, a more of an extended time. Okay. And, and then just cook it all down, yeah. And what heat are we doing this on? Just a medium just heat? A, just a medium heat, right. yeah, just, to, just so we've got the heat in there. So if you have a look at our chicken now, like look at that, I mean look at the colour of the chicken, it almost, it almost looks tasty. Beautiful. Right, so we're just going to pop it onto a tray, and I've got an oven which is set, you know, it's about 280, 300 degrees, so it'll pretty much be top setting in your oven. So get that really hot. Okay. And then we are just going to pop that in and we're going to bake it on that real high heat right. for about 10, 15 minutes. And what that's going to do is just going to, you know, crust up the outside. You know, if it's a little bit charred and black on the edges, that's what we want, that okay. sort of flavour. You know, right. we're trying to mimic, um, you know, cooking in a tandoor oven. Okay, cool. Should I put it in the bacon? Yeah, yeah, oven. pop it in the oven. So Ooh. really hot, so be careful. Okay, cool. Um, yeah, about 10, 15 minutes. Take it out, and then we will... So if it's a little bit under in the middle, if it's a little bit raw and you're worried about that, we are going to finish the chicken in the sauce. So, you know, we just want that real colour on the outside. That tells you when the door's open, tells you when it's cooking, quite like that. Lovely jubbly. Right, we'll get... Um, right, we can pop some cream in there now. Okay, cool. So you grab some cream. Okay, sweet. OK, nice. Oh, look at that. I know. I... Right, you can pour, pour the cream in now, and then we'll cook it all down. So this is going to be sort of like, um, almost like a butter curry, so it's sort of creamy, and we're going to finish it with lots of, uh, lots of butter in there, oh, which is good. one of my favourite ingredients. Yes, like that. This is looking fantastic. And look at that. I mean, look at the mm. colour now from the turmeric, you know, get um. all those flavours to marry together. A little bit of uh, salt and pepper just to help it on the way, and then we'll just check the seasoning, and then all we've got to do is finish it with a bit of fresh coriander just before you serve it, and uh, just some plain steamed rice. Beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. It is looking and smelling delicious. And we'll let Mark finish this off, and then we'll show you the finished product before the end of the show. OK, it's time for Mark to serve up a smoked paprika chicken curry, and I've got to say, that is just smelling delicious. Look at that. Yeah, great job, Mikesh. Oh, it's it's hard to make a curry look really, really enticing, but you know they taste amazing. <laughs> just yeah. put coriander on top. Oh, that's, that's true. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Brilliant. Oh.